in the case of those who test positive but uh, may not need admissions. So I can say overall the situation of uh, infection, people get infected, is on increase. Well, so far this are four, four deaths, but uh, most of these have been uh, also people with uh, very severe other diseases. And uh, incidentally, they also tested positive for, for COVID. We are very ready to receive the COVID patients because we are well equipped with most of the equipment, the PPEs, um, the treatment for all the patients. We have uh, self-contained rooms for all the patients that we shall be receiving. We have the oxygen, we have the um, ICU, we are well equipped with our ICU. So any patients having COVID symptoms, whether mild, moderate or severe, we are ready to receive the patients. The city is growing, more people are coming in, and we need more of these services. Because it has a capacity of about 50 beds, and I see they have some specialized equipment, and somehow we've been missing some of those services in the city. So definitely the population is going to benefit a lot uh, from this institution. Government hospitals and other private hospitals are full as Finns Medical University we thought to open this facility to the public such that we can reinforce the government efforts to give health services to the people. I'm appealing to the president, I'm appealing to the COVID task force to think about reopening medical training students and other health training institutions because these students and when they are training they actually support the health workers on the ward when they're doing internship. So it is like in a war, when you say the cardo goes, you run away and hide, the, the bullet may get you. But these student health workers are the generals of tomorrow. So by keeping them at home in future, they will run away from those hospitals when the same pandemics come.